Hello, I am glad you joined me today as we have something new in store. We are practicing today as a yoga dance fusion class. So this class is not focused on alignment, on poses. It is about feeling your body, getting the energy moving, really listening to yourself, tapping into what feels good, flailing your arms about, adding in any extra movements, just moving, getting the energy up, the blood pumping. So I want you to have fun with this class and not worry about a thing. It's not about if you feel silly, you don't look silly. I am right here with you. And I really hope you enjoy this. So whenever you're ready, we can get started standing up. We begin today with our feet a little bit more than hip width apart, bending the knees and just let yourself fall towards the ground. Take the hands over to the right, over to the left. If you need to scoot the feet out a little bit more, do so. Just starting to move the energy around. Maybe we're visualizing this movement. Maybe we start to make these bigger. We start to go up. Maybe we take full circles, full body circles, as we sweep around, opening up through the side body. Beautiful. Making big, huge circles. Just finding enjoyment here today. All right, one more. And then we're gonna make our way up. Maybe we roll up to standing, taking the feet back underneath the chest. And we ground through the left foot, coming up onto the ball of this right foot, stepping out, leaning just as far as feels good, opening up through the bottom of the foot. Beautiful. Maybe we hold and release the heel, coming onto the left, feeling the toes stretch. We'll do each foot one more time, really open them up. Maybe we add in some arm movements. And release, taking the heels together, toes pointed out to the corners. Exhale, sink the hips down, finding little plies, back up and down. Maybe we look side to side. Beautiful. Doing one more. And then stepping out to goddess pose. Toes still pointed out. We do the same thing. Making this a little bit bigger, full body expression now. Moving that energy around. Especially if you feel stuck or stagnant lately, this is a great practice to just open yourself up. Remember that life is not so serious, but we shouldn't take it so seriously. Beautiful. One more of these. And then straightening the legs, turn to the front of the mat. Inhale, raise the arms up and exhale, fold over the legs. We can keep a nice bend in this left knee if we need to, just holding here for a little stretch. Maybe we find little pulses. Whatever feels good. Beautiful, bending this left knee, planting the hands, stepping back, downward facing dog, pedaling out the feet. Taking our time to get here, feeling the lengthening of the spine. As we reach the heels down, static downward facing dog. Ground through the right foot, bring the left knee into the chest and begin to make big hip circles. Beautiful, grounding through the grips of the fingers as we open through the hips. One more breath. And carefully step this left foot in, low lunge. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, send the hips back, half split. Smoothing with the breath.
Maybe we're feeling fired up now already, getting the heart going, the blood pumping. Beautiful. One more, coming back into our low lunge, raising the knee and coming into side angle, reaching this right arm up, making big shoulder circles. And going the other way. And then releasing nice and strong into warrior two. Ah, sink the hips down. Coming into our high lunge, facing the front of the mat. Stepping up onto this left foot, stork pose, toes point down. Maybe we send the leg back as we shift the heart forward. Moving back and forth, making this a nice steady flow. Challenging your balance as you move, connect to the core. Beautiful. And we have an option to come into dancer pose here. If you like. Moving carefully. Beautiful. Using your focus point to help you ground down through the foot. And gently release mountain pose. Inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, heart center. Releasing the hands, step this left leg back into our pyramid pose. Inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, fold. Enjoying a little moment of rest here before we repeat on the other side. And planting the hands, coming back into downward facing dog. Right leg comes high, we bend the knee and make our little hip circles as big as we want them to be. Beautiful. Feeling your body, letting it guide you. Kind of an intuition practice. Yes, one more big circle, and then draw the knee in through the chest, low lunge, inhale, and exhale, sweep the hips back. Listening to your body, only going as far as feels good. Just matching breath with movement, finding a little freedom, a little freedom flow. One more, make it juicy. Back into our low lunge, coming up into extended side angle, shoulder circles. And reversing. Yes, beautiful. Windmilling up, warrior two. Nice and strong. And sweeping around, big crescent lunge. Exhale, step up, stork pose. Beautiful. Not judging yourself if we wiggle and wobble or fall completely. Laugh it off. Find some playfulness here, bringing out your inner child, nurturing your inner child. And maybe coming into dancer pose. Nice and steady. Feeling strong. And release mountain pose. Maybe shake out the legs a little bit. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, rain the fingertips down. Belly comes towards the thigh. Plant the hands, step back to plank pose. Taking a little vinyasa. Chaturanga, elbows in by the sides. Upward facing dog. Rolling over the toes, downward facing dog. Lifting the heels and finding a few spinal rolls. Anything that feels good.
Beautiful. One more. And we gently drop the knees, keeping the toes tucked, lifting up onto the knees. Inhale, arms up. And maybe we find a little side stretch. Making this like a wave. I don't know why I just thought of seaweed, like swaying in the, in the water, in the breeze, but whatever you feel like, whatever is your inspiration. Then taking the hands out, shoulder height, inhale, chest opener, bringing the arms in front, making big waves. Big motions. Opening ourselves up, we're here. We're taking up space and we're having fun while doing it. And when you feel evened out, we can return back to tabletop. Taking a gentle cat cow, just about three rounds. Moving with the breath here, beginning to slow it down. Finding the yin energy after the yang. And whenever you're ready, we can send the hips back. Maybe finding a few little hip sways before melting into child pose. Finding a little surrender at the end of all this energy. Reaching the fingertips out, melting the heart down. This is a great time to check in, see how you feel. Do you feel more energetic, more connected, more powerful? Maybe more creative. Maybe you feel nothing at all, knowing that all of those options and more are valid. Let the arms become heavy and find stillness for a few moments. Whenever you're ready, you can gently lift up and find a seat. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had fun with this little intro to yoga dance fusion. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. If you'd like more of these classes, a little bit longer, just wanted to introduce this idea and see if, uh, if it was fun for you. So let me know how you liked it. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.